Hey, it's time for Last Night in the Loco on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. Two Loco on Loco rivalries took center stage on the soccer pitch last night, and Team Loco soccer correspondent Connor Worrell was in the nest for the boys' matchup between Hilton Head High and May River, which were deadlocked in the region's 7-4A standings going into the night. And they were still deadlocked at the end of regulation and overtime. Timmy O'Gorman gave May River a 1-0 lead, and Connor McLean made it stand up until just before full time when the Seahawks found the equalizer and unlocked free soccer. Still tied after the two extra five-minute periods, but McLean made a huge save in the shootout, and the Sharks escaped with a hard-fought win. We checked out the highlights and heard from the man of the match, the victorious keeper, on last night's Loco Sports Lowdown. Good stuff. Team Loco's Wes Kerr was in the tank at May River for a girls' clash between the Sharks and the crosstown rival Bluffton Bobcats, and it was a wild one. Logan Young put the Bobcats up 2-0 with goals in the 27th and 43rd minutes, but the Sharks responded with three straight goals, including two in just over a minute, to take a 3-2 lead. Young finished her hat trick to pull Bluffton even, and it remained knotted at three through overtime and the penalty shootout was tied at five before freshman keeper Lexi Lagan made consecutive saves and Hanalyn Weidekamper buried the game-winning penalty for May River. Sharks coach Stephanie Moldenauer joined us on the lowdown to break down the big win. Check it out to hear more about what happened last night on the Loco Sports Scene, and tune into the Loco Media Network at 10 p.m. tonight to see who shows up to talk local sports. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco!